hi guys welcome back to my channel i think it's safe to say that if i come on here with a gown we're about to get into some skincare because i just feel like gown skincare same was up <laughs> so today the video i want to do has to do with benzoyl peroxide when it comes to clearing your skin i've been using benzoyl peroxide this particular one is from acne.org but i know there are many others in the chemist in the market I've been using this particular one for I think about two years maybe even slightly more than that so I've picked up some few things along the way that I'm gonna share for anyone here who is thinking about getting into it or you've just started using it just for beginners when it comes to benzoyl peroxide so my skin is usually on and off right now as you guys can see it is off off <laughs> but it's, it's about to be on guys it's about to be on um the thing with the benzoyl peroxide is it works for me every single time i'm gonna talk about like my current skincare struggle maybe at the end of this video but for now let's just get right into the tips so tip number one is actually related to acne.org itself so when you're starting the acne.org system it comes with a cleanser it comes with this the 2.5 percent benzoyl peroxide which is the main treatment that's gonna treat your acne or manage your acne and then there's the clean the not cleanser the moisturizer so those are the three things that come in the kit now my first tip would be if you can't afford to get all the things in the kit this is where you put your money just get this just get this you can go on the website and see recommendations for other products you can use to replace um, although my, my my own personal recommendation would be get a very basic cleanser and a very basic moisturizer and when I say basic I just mean cleansers and moisturizers that don't have any active ingredients like Yanni they're just basic <laughs> they're just basic the cleanser is really just gonna clean your skin it doesn't have CG salicylic acid or just you know just other things it's just gonna clean your skin and then the moisturizer also doesn't like it's just a basic moisturizer it's going to moisturize that's what i would say um i think a brand i would recommend is this brand um this is the simple brand they make products that are really really good for sensitive skin so most of their products don't tend to have too much going on so if you can't afford to get the whole kit the main thing that you need to get is the benzoyl peroxide everything else you can substitute with more affordable things that are just basic and won't interfere with the treatment now the other tip i'm gonna give you which i feel like is the most important tip is to start very slowly you have to really build up your tolerance when it comes to benzoyl peroxide if you've never used it before and you're starting to use it today don't get too excited um and think about clear skin and just lather it on your skin i'm telling you guys you will have a really bad reaction don't do it don't do it <laughs> i think for me that is a major major mistake i made when i first started using benzoyl peroxide i started doing too much too quickly you know i wasn't patient i was like this thing clear skin see then that means the more i put on the better my skin will look in a shorter time hmm? i was there thinking i had i had really come up with something and then my face was like it swelled um my skin was peeling i looked like a snake i'm actually gonna insert a photo or a video here for you guys to see how bad it was and all that could have been avoided if i had just started slowly and when i say start slowly i mean use a little bit at a time start every other day if i if you have to instead of every day start every night and then slowly by slowly you'll notice just listen to your skin you'll notice it getting more and more used and then add you know just slowly by slowly by slowly just be patient the thing with benzoyl peroxide is that it will work you just have to give it time and be patient if you don't want to have like super adverse effects um you can use the benzoyl peroxide without having to like stop your normal activities because your skin is swelling and is peeling so badly that you feel like you can't leave the house so slowly but surely always wins the race well i don't know about always but wins. Eh? scratch that if you feel like the amount you're using is making you too dry don't be scared to reduce so you're building up tolerance listen to your skin and just keep adjusting accordingly 
hey now the other one this one is actually the reason why my skin is doing this and this also happened to me sometime last year and the tip or the whole idea is that your benzoyl peroxide can actually lose if its effectiveness so if you've had benzoyl peroxide for a long time like this thing can take a while to end if you have it for like over six months it could actually lose its effectiveness because and this is according to what i read on the internet benzoyl peroxide has it's it's an active ingredient so that makes it quite sensitive to just the elements so you're traveling with it to a different country or a different place that has different climate or it's just in your bathroom where there's a lot of moisture or you put it in a place where the sun it's just in front of the sun so it's just it can end up losing some of its effectiveness and that's now where you get to a point where you're using your benzoyl peroxide and it's not working for you you know so you actually think that maybe your skin has gotten used to the benzoyl peroxide that's it we need to find another treatment the thing is if you actually go on google um there are many articles that tell you that your skin actually can't get used to benzoyl peroxide it's not like other treatments where you know just the more you do it your skin just gets used to it then it's like nope we see what you're doing this is now the acne telling you this we're back and we're here to stay so this doesn't do that just the way it works Mm, makes it such that your skin can't get used to it so you can use it for 10 years and your skin will just still not be used to it so if you're noticing that you're using your benzoyl peroxide and you're you're still getting like fresh breakouts and you've had it for a couple of months it might be time for you to get a new one because the one you have might have lost its effectiveness the other thing i read about i don't know if you guys have seen these skincare fridges coming into the market those help because they kind of just make sure your skincare especially the skincare that has active ingredients is just like in a nice cool stable temperature throughout so for me what i do is i actually put my benzoyl peroxide in the fridge which you have to be careful about because you know you don't want your benzoyl peroxide to mix with your food but there's there's a way you can store it properly get like a compartment only for your skincare and like put it wrap it so that you know there's no cross contamination i don't know it's not the best thing but it's gonna keep your benzoyl peroxide fresh if you can get a mini skincare fridge then go ahead and do that but if you can't you can also just put it in the fridge so yeah so that is what happened to me last year around april ish i was using benzoyl peroxide and i had become extremely inconsistent with it and then i realized that it was it had even become ineffective so i was using it it wasn't working so it's only now when i got a new one that i really realized that that other one had lost its effectiveness so that is also what's happening what happened to me now this particular one i've had it for a couple of months maybe five almost six months and um yeah i was it's the exact same thing i became really inconsistent with it at some point i stopped using it then when i started using it again i'm noticing i'm still getting breakouts i'm like what is going on and the fix for that is always just to get a new one and i think now that i've started keeping it in the fridge it should be good to go now like until it's over because i've actually never finished a whole tube <laughs> now the other tip i'm gonna give you when you're using benzoyl peroxide or in fact any other topical acne treatment topical is something i think you're putting on your face if i'm not wrong so use a sunscreen that one i will give you i will tell you for free because the thing is when you're using benzoyl peroxide or any other topical acne treatment it's working on your acne but that means it's potentially going to leave a lot of dark marks behind you're gonna have a lot of scarring you're gonna have a lot of hyperpigmentation and the thing is if you're going out into the sun and you've done nothing about you know like protecting yourself from the sun then your dark marks and your hyperpigmentation are just gonna keep getting darker and it's just gonna get harder and harder for you to actually get rid of them so sunscreen also benzoyl peroxide makes your skin sensitive like more sensitive to the sun so it's really 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 important that you have a sunscreen 
it's so important the first month like when you're using the benzoyl peroxide you know it's like you're really working on your acne and you're not too concerned about the acne scars or the hyperpigmentation but just to save yourself trouble wear sunscreen because a point in time will come maybe a few weeks down the line or a few months down the line where you're definitely going to have to deal with that hyperpigmentation and that acne scarring because you'll have dealt with your acne so save yourself the hassle and just put on a sunscreen every day whether you're indoors whether you're outdoors and yes even if you have melanin you need a sunscreen the next tip i'm gonna give which this one they actually give on the acne.org website especially if you're just starting the regimen is to stay off makeup for some time they recommend a month um and i know that can be difficult especially because if your acne is really affecting how you feel about yourself your self-esteem your self-confidence and you're used to covering that up with makeup then it's gonna be quite difficult for you that first month but the thing is it's for the greater good i think not wearing makeup just doesn't irritate your skin because you know you're not like applying product with brushes you're not um irritating your skin when you're removing the makeup so that just kind of helps the benzoyl peroxide really do its work as quickly as possible so lay off the makeup for at least a couple of weeks before going back into makeup while you're using your benzoyl peroxide now the other thing i'm gonna say or the other tip i'm gonna give is about exfoliation so on the acne.org website they actually don't even advocate for physical exfoliation physical is where it's a scrub you know you're literally scrubbing off those dead skin cells they don't advocate for that because that causes a lot of irritation on your skin unnecessary irritation so they really advocate for chemical exfoliation where it's that you apply a product the product is the one that does the work and you're good to go so the thing with the benzoyl peroxide is that it's going to cause a lot of flaking a lot of dryness you're gonna have a lot and i mean a lot of dead skin that you're gonna have to find something to do you have to find something to do about that so usually it's recommended that after now that one month you know you've not been wearing makeup you've solely been using the benzoyl peroxide then now it's time for you to start thinking about introducing a chemical exfoliant they personally have one i actually have mine right here this is the 10 10 glycolic acid um you don't have to use this exact one i think you can also use the ordinary aha bha peeling solution because that's also a chemical exfoliant that you just use once a week um although i recommend if you decide to use that then don't use benzoyl peroxide that day just use the aha bha peeling solution but for sure you're gonna have to find a chemical means of exfoliating because you're gonna have a lot of dead skin you're just it's kind of like you're shedding your old skin to reveal new skin so it's so important for you to exfoliate so important so the next um tip that i'm gonna give you or not tip let me even say a heads up or a danger warning <laughs> is that you can't stop using benzoyl peroxide if you do your acne is gonna come back but however once you're clear you can actually reduce how much benzoyl peroxide you're using because at some point you know you might be using quite a lot you might be using it morning and night but once your skin is clear you can start reducing slowly by slowly again here you have to really listen to your skin so i've, I've had had and seen of people who reduce um, the benzoyl peroxide to only using it as a spot treatment so you're not even using it all over your face when a um, bump pops up you kind of just spot treat and by the next day that's gone um, other people start to use it every other day if they are using it every day other people start to just use it at night so with time just listen to your skin once your skin is clear and then you know reduce and adjust accordingly the other thing i'm gonna say is that once your skin is clear you can stop being super super meticulous you know when you start using the benzoyl peroxide even like all the instructions particularly on the acne.org website on how to use it you have to be so meticulous you know wash your skin for usually 10 seconds barely touching it dry it barely touch you know it's actually like a science <laughs> it's like a science 
so once your skin is clear for me uh, my personal experience is that you can start reducing just like how meticulous you are you can start even introducing things like the 60 second rule when it comes to cleansing your face um, you can also start um, trying things like oil cleansing if you want um, like you 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 don't have to be as strict as you are in month one once your skin is like completely clear of course as long as you keep being as consistent as you possibly can using the benzoyl peroxide the other tip I've actually I always write down my tips so that I don't forget anything I would say read a lot about using the benzoyl peroxide on the acne.org website I think I get way too many questions on this you know how do i use it what's the main thing i should get when all these answers are literally on the acne.org website they will tell you what to get they will tell you how to use it they even literally have youtube videos demonstrating how to do it and then on top of that there's like a community of people who are using acne.org who have been using acne.org like any question that you have about acne.org you can find an answer to it on the website so in case you decide to go the route of the acne.org benzoyl peroxide there's so so much information on the website so go on there and educate yourself on how to actually to actually hey to actually to actually use the product properly to get the best results and then last but not least i feel like i just have to put this in there is that you have to realize that benzoyl peroxide is not um a and it's not an acne treatment per se it will clear your skin but from what i've read and from what i've watched acne tends to be a manifestation of something going on internally so it could be something like hormonal imbalance you could have be having some issues with your gut um it could be what some you know you have some allergies to what you're eating there's so many different causes of um acne and what acne.org does is just that it handles the acne once it's already come to the skin so that's why when you stop using it your acne will always come back because you've not actually dealt with the root cause of your acne so i encourage you that even when you decide if you decide to go this route of the benzoyl peroxide just keep that at the back of your mind that you still have to kind of explore and find out what it is that's causing your acne and then take steps to actually be dealing with what's going on with you internally and that's ve that's easier said than done you can see a dermatologist if you'd like to um to help you deal with it internally you can see a gynecologist if you feel like it's caused by your home hormonal imbalance there are many things you can do um to treat your acne from within but um i think that's it guys mm. let me show you how my skin is currently looking oh wait i thought that was actually like something on my skin no <laughs> it's a pimple it's not looking good but i think like i've mentioned it's because this particular tube of benzoyl peroxide i've had it for too long and it became ineffective so now i got a new tube it's currently chilling in the fridge literally chilling in the fridge so i'm already it's i've replaced this um about a week ago and i'm already seeing like i don't really have new breakouts um the ones i had are completely drying out so like i said it's a very dependable acne treatment it will always work and especially if you follow these tips i've given you so yes thank you guys so much for watching and i'm gonna see you in my next video 